Hey, I've been quiet on here. This was a really full weekend. I was speaking at a women's retreat. I am heading back home early this morning. Well, heading to the airport early this morning to go back home, to go back to regular life. <laughs> um... And I was just praying for the women, actually, that were on this retreat. And my prayer is that they don't come down from the mountain. How many of you have had these mountaintop experiences where you feel like you've been set free? You feel like you can conquer the world. It could be a conversation it could be a podcast episode. It could be a YouTube video. It could be something here on social media that unlocks something inside of you. And then the second you walk back into your regular life, your regular situation, you're having the same issues with that coworker and the same issues with your husband or your children or a friend or a family member. And it just feels like everything you just learned, everything you just got so excited about, everything that was just built up inside of you comes crumbling down to nothing. And it's a hard it's a hard thing to face and it's a hard road to travel down from the mountain. And that's why I want to encourage you, whatever your mountaintop experience is, understand that you get to take that with you, right? And you don't have to be on the mountain. You don't have to be in that experience, Find a way to take that experience and take that transformation with you. We go through transformational experiences every single day. Every single day. But the thing is that we allow life, we allow our circumstances, and we allow an old mindset to steal that transformation back from us almost a second that it happens. And that's why when I was giving the ladies a vision sequence over the weekend, I was teaching them how they're going to need to write these things down every single day because you need a reference. You need a point of reference where you can go back and you can see your own transformation. You can document your own transformation and you don't have to depend on other people to tell you whether you're doing better, whether you've changed, whether things are really different. You know yourself better than anybody else. You know how you feel. You know how you're going to feel when you walk into that work situation or you walk into that relationship. You walk into your prayer time. You walk into conversations and you start acting differently and you start speaking differently and you start having a different effect on people. Trust and believe you're not going to need feedback. You're going to get it though. People are going to tell you, wow, um, you're different. I can see that you're different. I can feel that you're different. You're really showing up differently. You're really showing up better. Wow, you lost weight. You know, you're speaking up for yourself. You're really doing that thing that you said you wanted to do for the last five years. I see you doing it. But you're not going to need that. Because you've been doing it in private. There is an intimacy. I was talking about that with the ladies this weekend. There is an intimacy that every woman needs. And I was talking about the three appointments that every woman should have every day. An appointment with God. An appointment with herself. And an appointment with others. 
and we're running around everywhere keeping appointments with everyone and everything outside of ourselves and that needs to stop this is november of 2023 are you gonna walk into 2024 exhausted and resentful and feeling less than and feeling like man those things that i said i wanted to do in january those things that i was so excited to do in january i haven't even done them i haven't even started and i get that feeling i have stuff that I haven't even started yet, but guess what? There's time. There is time left in this year to at least begin working on becoming the woman that you need to become to live the life that you want to live. Because it's about becoming. We are taught what to do. And we are taught how to do it. But we are not trained and nurtured in how to be. And that is the key. I was telling a woman this weekend that we're looking for keys. But we are the keys. You are the key that unlocks the door. To the future that God intended for you. But you can't be that key. If you're trying to be somebody else. And God can't bless. Who you're pretending. You are. So I want to encourage you. This November. And December. As we close out one year. And we walk into another year. To be intentional about the woman that you are becoming. To be intentional about your thoughts, to be intentional about your words, to be intentional about your vision, be intentional about your prayers, be intentional about your efforts, be intentional about your energy. This is your one and only precious life. And you were created to be an attractive solution to the world. And that can start today. If you need help, if you're watching this on Instagram, all my links are in my bio. If you're watching this on YouTube, check the description box. And there are various ways that we can partner together. If you're not ready, just keep following. I have an offer right now that is... Today only, if you've reached the end of this video, congratulations. Today only, I am going to reduce the cost. I'm going to reduce the rate of entry. Just for today. You think about it. And you decide if you want to come on board and you want to take a journey to Victoria's vision and see what life can look like. What can life look like this time next year? I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. And I'll talk to you soon.